Chromebook owners for a long time now have wondered what kind of options do I have if I want to get a wireless trackpad? And unfortunately, every time that question comes my way, I really don't have a good answer. Uh, up until this point, honestly, usually I would steer people towards this guy here. This is the Logitech T650. Problem is Logitech doesn't make this device anymore and people that still have them and sell them, they know it. And so what used to be a, I don't know, $65, $75 trackpad is now $150, $200, $250 on Amazon because people know supply and demand. They have them, they have them to sell, and people really want them because no one's making them anymore. You can't get one straight from Microsoft. Google doesn't make one. It's basically have a trackpad. Everybody has a trackpad on your laptop or your Chromebook, but no one's making them except one other company, and that's Apple. And so this little guy, is their Magic Trackpad 2, and I've always loved it because it's massive. It has their uh, haptic engine in here, so it doesn't actually move, but when you turn it on, it feels like it clicks. It's, uh, it's brilliant. It's one of the coolest things that Apple's made in a long time, but it's never really worked on a Chromebook apart from being able to just move the mouse pointer around the screen. And so what we want to show you today is that in the developer channel in Chrome OS right now, you can actually use this trackpad, which you can buy at Best Buy or Target or anywhere else for 99 bucks, and it's gonna work 100% with all your Chromebooks. All right, so let's start off with the Logitech. As I said before, you can get it uh, on Amazon or you could get it on eBay. It's gonna cost you a lot of money, and probably way more than it's worth, but if you find it used and you can get a hold of it for a price that doesn't kill you, then it's a great option. It's all glass, it feels great, it works really well, and I've had it for years, and they've carried the drivers over through Chrome OS. Uh, it seems like they're gonna keep carrying them through, and so it, it probably will work for a long time. It's simple setup, just like any other Logitech thing. You get the, the dongle paired up with your, uh, with your particular device, plug it in, and obviously turn it on, and everything works like you'd expect. So three finger swipe up, swipe down works, two finger scroll, and then if you wanna do three finger swipe between tabs, all that stuff works just like you'd expect and the tracking is really good. Uh, it just works exactly like you would expect from a glass trackpad, say on the Pixelbook. So that's kind of that option there. But again, it's gonna be hard for you to find this device at a reasonable price. So the benefit here is of all the people that could make a glass trackpad, Apple probably makes the best one. And so it's really cool that the one player in this space, since technically Logitech has left the space and doesn't make theirs anymore, is Apple. And they make the best trackpad you can buy. They always have. They're, they're the ones that actually kind of pioneered the idea of multi-touch gestures on a trackpad. And so their glass trackpads are phenomenal. And this one is no exception to that. And so the benefit here is that you can buy this for 99 bucks basically anywhere. And once this patch comes down, hopefully it's stable, maybe in 71, we're expecting to see it. Uh, right now it's in the developer channel. Once this patch rolls its way down, you'll be able to use it with any Chrome device. So Chrome boxes, Chrome books, the Chrome book, or the uh, Pixel Slate, any of those things will work with it. And so there's two ways you can go about doing so with the Magic Trackpad 2. So one of them is to plug it directly into your device. So whatever dongles you need to work with. Plug that lightning cable that's included. Make sure the device is turned on. And you can see everything works exactly like you expect, just like with the Logitech. Two finger swipe works, three finger swipe works, three finger swipe up and down works. Everything works just like you'd expect. But then the added benefit here is that without a dongle, without a cord, without any extra stuff, you can go down and pair this thing with your device. So you would go into your Bluetooth settings. I've already connected it here, but it shows up as a trackpad. It knows exactly what it is and it works the exact same way. So all your two finger scrolls, three finger scrolls, three finger swipes, all that kind of stuff work exactly like you'd expect. And it's just over straight up Bluetooth. So no extra dongles needed. Open your device, turn this thing on, it'll pair right up and work. And so we're pretty excited that uh, they're actually bringing support for this because we get questions a lot about which trackpad should I use? Are there any trackpads? Why doesn't Google make a trackpad? Why doesn't Microsoft make a trackpad? I don't know the answers to any of those things. I don't know why no one makes these, but at least the one company that does uh, that we can now start using with Chromebooks very soon is the one that makes the best one. And so give it just a little bit of time and obviously we will uh, put up a story at least on the website whenever it's hit stable and you can go and buy this thing and make it work. For right now, if you wanna jump into the developer channel, you can make it work right now with your Chromebook or Chrome OS device. But guys, that's been it for this one. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe down below and until next time. We'll see you.